Hello, and welcome to some more Zelda. Yet again, I find myself thinking I need a better stream description. Or sc stream description? No, stream greeting. I am, I'm already off to a great start. Wow, here we are on outset. So, hang on, really quick before it beetle speeds away, I'm just going to see what's in my bait bag. I'm going to get some more pears, but I do have a decent supply of bait. Um, and then... Triforce shards. I don't really remember where they are. I remember some of them. Oh! Um, we do have that incredible chart from Tingle um, that will lead us to some of them, if, I, if memory serves. You know what I'd forgotten about? Bye. Because to, uh... Okay, to start off, I couldn't remember all the little hints the fish had given you about come here when the moon is in this phase for something cool. I couldn't remember uh, the specific pieces of advice the fish had given on that regard. So I thought, okay, I just need to look this up. Because I think there's a chart that lists uh, where you go depending on the phase of the moon. Um, and there is, and I'm going for it right now. Um, but the other thing, when looking it up, I completely forgotten about in the original release of this game. Oh no, see hats go away. In the original release of this game on the GameCube, um, your wallet can only hold 200 rupees to start, not 500. And the bait, or not bait, sorry, I'm equipping bait. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. The, the, uh, chart that Tingle mails you is 201 rupees, meaning that in the original release of this game, you can't afford the chart without getting a bigger wallet, which just, well, that's just typically Tingle, isn't it? I couldn't remember where to get the chart for the thing, so I thought, I'm just going to look to get out where you get the chart for the thing. <laughs> because I, I, I was kind of worried I'd overlooked it somewhere. There was actually a thing I did overlook on another island, so I'll have to go back for that. But anyway, let's just get to this fish before I get even more distracted. I had a nap a little before stream because I was exhausted and I hecked up my neck. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you do that? Betrayal by the thing that's supposed to be restorative. On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master swordsman. He's got proof of it, too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what that thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. I can't go giving away every secret. Oh, that's not really interesting. Why don't you talk about the island that we're on, fish? I mean, it is surrounded by sea hats, so I guess it's not really a great island. Oh, man. Look at the face on that thing. Oh, jeez. Please. Ah, oh, jeez. Leave me alone, please. Why is it so large? It doesn't need to be that large. I can't get up here. Oh. You woke up from a nap an hour ago and you're still out of it. Oh, I feel that. How often do any of us lie down for a nap and then ultimately find it restorative versus just winding up feeling worse than when we started? I feel like that's what usually happens is you wind up feeling worse. Why are there so many things trying to kill me here? Okay, well, I need to get rid of, hang on, the things here. This, this pea hat is going to get in my way. Sea hat, whatever. Where are you going? Depth perception. Wow, it's so huge and it goes down like a chump. Okay, I think I gotta... Come on. No. This isn't Mario Golf at all. Good. Good enough. Just 
just let that rupee float away with contempt. It's a single dollar. I don't need it. Who needs a single dollar? Well, I hope uh, not getting rid of that, that cannon ship is, is not going to bite me in the backside. Ooh, they're getting close. It's spicy. How does one practice at napping? Is there a way to get good at napping? Oh, hello, Blue Chew. I don't really know why I'm collecting its jelly, because... Yeah, going to Hollow Shop is just a better source of blue potions, but... You know, it's here. I might as well. I'll take that. Yeah. I've never been very good at napping. But... Oh, there's one here. I don't know why... Whatever. Um... I tend to toss and turn... That's not what I want. I tend to toss and turn a lot. So I'm... I'm not a very effective napper. I like just getting settled to the point where I feel like I can sleep takes a long time. Luz, hello! How have you been? Ignore the fact that I keep sending this ball. Well, it's not really a ball. It is temporarily into the abyss. Come on. I thought, okay, it keeps curving left, so I'll stand more to the left of it. But that didn't work. Stop, stop. Oh, I did it! I did it! <sighs> How are you, Luce? I hope everything with the moves going well. And that you're not stretched too thin. I did it! My prize is I get to say hello to this man. Oh, so beautiful! Incredibly beautiful! I'm so glad I bought this kaleidoscope. I I want to look through the kaleidoscope. Ugh, sir, your eyes. 3D Ultra Mini Golf! I almost walked off the island because I was reading chat. I remember 3D Ultra Mini Golf. I think I've talked about it on stream before, even. I remember my dad, brother, and I playing 3D Ultra Mini Golf together. Which, by the way, is a really hard game. You don't realize it's really hard at the time you play it. Because you're little and you have no standards. Get out of here. What do you mean you don't need to look out at the ocean with a kaleidoscope? Imagine how much more beautiful the ocean looks. You're a rainbow of colors. Why did Zelda Golf never take off? You say that in jest, but of course I would play a Zelda Golf game. Oh, I got a treasure chart. I got, I got, I got a bunch of little buddies. This almost makes up for the, the one I had to cruelly kill in the, uh, the Wind Temple. Yeah, where are the Zelda sports games? Um, let me get the... Hook shots for this. Here we go. Um, I should have put that here and I'll keep my bow here just so I don't get confused with what I have equipped. There we go. The windmill music. When I think of Zelda windmill music, I mean, there's only one song that comes into my head. I know, I know you're talking about the music in 3D Ultra Mini Golf, but I'm just playing Zelda, and that's where my brain is going. I'm sure if I thought about it when I'm not thinking about Zelda, the music would come into my my brain. Sorry, I'm looking at my treasure charts here. I'm opening it. I mean, not that I'm like going to go out and specifically seek them out, but um, since I have these treasure charts, I might as well open them so they'll appear when I'm sailing. Oh man, I have I have a lot of treasure charts. Oh, okay. Uh, I think that's all of them. Oh, that's right. And this the incredible chart. That's where I need to go. Again, sorry, that's all happening on the bottom screen and you can't see it. Well, no, not the bottom screen, the gamepad. You know. Okay. 
Whoa, excuse me. Do you see now why I used to find those things so terrifying when I first played this game? They have no business being that huge. It's excessive. Three D Ultra Mini Golf supersedes all video game knowledge for you, which I think is the correct take. What was the best course in that game? I don't know if I have a favorite. I remember a lot of the courses. Mostly, I just remember the most obnoxious ones, like the the Aztec Pyramid looking course. That one was awful. Hello, fish. Hit it right or left, and it won't be purdy. Does anyone else here know 3D Ultra Mini Golf? Diamond Step Island. Diamond Steppy Island. Oh, I've got some great information, Small Fry. Lucky you. If you use the treasure that's hidden on that island there, that thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know. It. I'm talking about it. That thing that appears on nights when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. How mysterious. Anyway, this is the island that I was trying to remember where it was. So I wanted to just check where I spend forever. Because I knew I'd be spending a lot of time sailing today. I held B for too long. I knew I'd be spending a lot of time sailing today, so I thought, okay, I really want to make sure I have the chart that you get on this island specifically. And I don't remember where the island was, so I thought, no, I need, I need to go check. I can hear it. I can hear it. I might need to back up and make it appear again. Why they vanish like so far away it's just inconvenient okay oh. please please I want it <laughs> please I want it it's probably just another treasure chart I think it's on the other side of me Maybe I'm on top of it. There we go. Well, it beats the treasure mini game from Phantom Hourglass. I'll take that. The game wants you to look at my your treasure chart for fine tuning. I don't want to go cycling through my treasure charts, trying to figure out which one is connected to this island. You got a pizza art! Uh, how do I get up here? The heat has been terrible earlier this week, but much better today. How do I get up here? I don't see an obvious method to get up there. I can't get in that nearby gust with the deco leaf, can I? Seems like too far away. Hmm. I don't remember how to get up there. What happens if I sail recklessly in this gust? I just miss entirely, of course. Oh, whoosh. It just sends me out. I don't know what I expected. Hmm. Well, Val, do you get sinus headaches with changes in air pressure? Because I hate that. How do I get up here? I don't recall. Do I have to use a bird? Mm. These are the worst. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I use the hookshot from down here? Sometimes I forget. Hey, I can. Okay. Sometimes I forget that I can use 
item, like the certain items while I'm on Uncle Boat. You know, back in my day, <laughs> in Ocarina of Time, uh, you could only use the bow on Epona, and that's what I'm thinking of now. <laughs> he could link? So my brain thinks that any mode of transport in a Zelda game, your, your kit is very limited. So uh, yes, I have my Wind Waker and my cannon and my uh, grappling hook. And that's it. But no, I can use the hook shot here. Uh, motion control aiming. Ugh. Where does all that water from the waterfall come from? It just rains a lot. Oh. Alternatively, who says it's water? Maybe this is where chews are born. Which, the fact that I stepped in it now is kind of gross. Oh, it's like that other island I was on. I guess in the pot we go. Wish. Okay. Oh. Hey, excuse me. I need that. <laughs> I should probably use the boomerang. Sir, please unhand me. I'm very delicate. Wind Waker Link kind of looks like if you squeezed him, he would make a squeaky toy noise. Okay. So rude. I was trying to target it. And I wasn't, it wasn't letting me target it. They make noises like the hack sign opening. Oh my gosh, they do! At the very beginning. How come I must know where obsession needs to go? That song. When the floor master is holding a pot, it can't grab Link. I guess that makes sense thinking about it. Here I was overcomplicating it, thinking I'll target it with the boomerang. But that was totally unnecessary. Yeah. Give me the goodies. Boy, I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I haven't found the great fairy that has the, the quiver upgrade. Or I did, but I didn't have the gear I needed to access her at the time. Like, I think one of them you need the hammer for? Zelda game hand enemies are always the worst. Scared you so much as a kid. I remember finding that I know a lot of people found the floor masters in Ocarina of Time very creepy and they are but for me I almost found them a uh, relief compared to the wall masters um, from Link to the Past because those ones can't be killed like you can kill them but they just infinitely respawn so the fact that you could permanently get rid of them in Ocarina of Time made Wall Masters and Floor Masters less menacing for me. Maybe menacing isn't the word, just irritating? No, definitely a little menacing. It's stressful when there's like something that's always constantly interrupting you. It's like, please, I'm busy. No, 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 That didn't work like I wanted it to. And that didn't even target what I wanted it to. There. It didn't... Oh, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Blink light, you no target. Why you no target? There you go. How do you pronounce the name of the protagonist from Ultra Kill? Is it V1 or V? I've never played Ultra Kill, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. V1, thank you. I don't want to reveal my ignorance. Um, I guess I'll just try this one first. Oh, it's a model name. I learned something. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, is that is that where your current screen name comes from? Oh. I've heard I hopefully, hopefully I'm not getting it mixed up with another game. I've heard the music in Ultra Kill is good. Something I gotta check out. Also, am I losing my marbles or did the was the smoke in this area before I went through the incorrect pot? Um did the smoke get duller for some of these pots? Because I feel like it was a darker purple, except one of them. Maybe I'm just totally off my rocker. That's what happens when you're super distracted. Post-snap brain fuzz. Post-work week brain fuzz. You know how it is. Yeah, the pot I jumped into the first time was definitely weirdly darker. Okay, I'm not off my rocker. You know, more than I usually am. Okay. Yeah, yeah see? Darker. So the one I came through is light, but then these ones are all weirdly dark. I don't know what's up with that. I guess I'll just try this one and hope for the best. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Well, at least I don't have to re-burn the wooden lids. Which kind of reminds me of the lids you'd see on jars um, for making traditional Japanese pickles. What are those called? Something zuke. I can't quite remember the word. It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, let's try the back left. And this one is definitely also going to be wrong. Yeah, I was thinking it was to show you which pot you had just opened. But that wouldn't explain why there are only strange colors the first time you go through there. Yay! You got the ghost ship chart! Cool. Unfortunately, I can't show you the bottom screen, so you're just gonna have to imagine this chart, I guess. Um, I feel like there was a way to show it on the top screen, but... Um, let me have a look at this chart. Um, let's see... Yeah, no, I don't want Beetle's chart. Where is it? No, I don't want Tingle's chart. Here it is. Okay. Oh, and you can even see, okay, what phase of the moon it currently is. But I feel like if I try to go where it is now, um, then I'm going to miss my opportunity because sailing there is going to take too long. And also, I don't remember exactly where these islands correlate to. I can't, I can't show it to you. I wish I could. Tsukemono? Is that, is that the word for pickles? Why was I thinking zuke at the end? And what was I thinking of? Anyway, um, let me pull up. I do need to go north of me because there is a thing I need to get there. There's a chart. Looking at the, the chart I got from Tangle's mail scam. What is the moon at tonight? It is... I have, to, I have to look at this chart again. Um, it's halfway... Man, is it waxing or waning? I always get them mixed up. Well, it's halfway. I almost got stuck under Uncle Wu. There, you can see it. But I feel like if I tried to get to where it's indicating even if i knew exactly where it was i would not make it in time waxing is going away see that's why i can never remember because uh, when i hear waning i think waning is when it's going away that's what a youtube video uses you've been trying japanese pickles and bento recipes it sounds really good Oh, here we go. 
Oh, Joanna, hello! Gosh, I was thinking about you the other day. I can't remember what brought you to mind, but I hope you're well. I think it was just a general, like, boy, I hope Joanna's okay. If I could just find this. Please. Please. I'm, I'm like so close to it. There it is! <sighs> you are wrong. Waning is going away? Okay. A silver rupee? Okay. Well, I guess. Sure. It's not really what I was hoping for. Looks like there is... I have the incredible chart open um, on the, the bottom screen, and I just press B reflexively to close it. But I don't have to do that, and then I just wind up yeeting Link out of Uncle Boat. Sorry, Link. Okay, looks like there's a chart I need in here. Is there something I didn't get on this island? Or... Looks like there's a, a boat around here. Hmm. Hang on, let me turn around. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. There's some guys. Whoever named the mood phases should be fed to Boat Father. <laughs> Congratulations, Uncle Boat, you've been promoted to parent. Luce, when you stream this game, did you call Uncle Boat anything? Do people stream this and just consistently refer to him as the King of Red Lions? That sounds so prosaic. Oh, there's a fancy boat. No wonder the, the incredible chart was leading me here. There we go. Haha. -ha. Loot. Oh. Now, can I uh, pull this up before getting shot by the other cannon boat behind me? Nope. Excuse me, sir. You asked for it. I'm slowly coming for you. Very slowly coming for you. This one also has loot. Mr. Boat. That's pretty good. I like Mr. Boat. What do you mean he doesn't deserve a name? Waning means the lens is bent inward and waxing means outward. Concave and convex phases of the moon. Doing the thing where you pull up the Wind Waker to stop. Aha! I got it! Ontario smoke is rough right now. Ugh. Even here this morning there was an air quality index warning. Is just a purple rupee? Is there not more? I could have sworn... That there's, there's more to get here. Uh, hmm. There's this spot. Like, I, I got the, the, the loot from the, the gold boat, right? Couldn't have just been the purple rupee. The speedrun strats. The very slow speedrun. Ugh. Who's just leaving $50 in these elaborate iron chests at the bottom of the ocean? Hmm. Well, it says there's a chart on this island. Or in this area. Did I not get whatever's here? I thought I did. Hmm. Maybe I already did. I guess it's just... But other charts I've gotten are checked off on my map. Ugh. Whatever. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. There was a golden boat and I blew it up. But I didn't seem to get anything for it. So I'm totally stymied. What am I doing wrong? So I thought you beat up the golden boat. 
and then the looted drops is the chart you need. But I might be off my rocker. Another sacrifice for the boatman. It sounds so menacing when you call him that. Not just Uncle Boat. So while I'm sailing, because I need to go two squares east here. Uh, let me have another look at this. Um, I wish I knew what island this is referring to, referring to on the ghost ship chart. Oh well. We'll find it eventually. I think today is just about being chill and sailing and... I don't know. Casual conversation, I suppose. And, and destroying people. And by people, I mean this boat. Boats are people, it's fine. Ex except for you, Uncle Boat. You, you can be a people, I guess. I'm sorry you can't see the chart. I don't know if there's a way to make the chart appear on the top screen. I feel like there is, but yet I don't remember how. And all this money, what am I even gonna spend it on? Also, I don't have the uh, info for this island. I'll go in there in a second, but let me feed the fish first. There we go. More typical Friday night sailing around chatting, destroying my enemies. Exactly. What else do you do on a Friday night except crush the opposition? You spent all week working under the oppressive thumb of capitalism. Now it's time to fight back and feed the fish with the corpses of your enemies. Tell me, small fry. Have you ever heard of the fabled set of Triumph Forks? Well, it's right there, my young fry. On that island. You know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting it's the hard part. Thanks, fish. Why don't the fish ever just, like, have the chart for me? You know, cut out, cut out the middleman. I'll give you extra bait. You'd follow me in the revolution, thank you. Cat boys for poison abolition. Hello. There we go. This has to be a good one. It's a tall pillar, so it was a treasure chart item. Oh. Okay, what am I gonna spend this on? No, I'm not going to the auction house. That's not fun. Oh, did I already get the thing here? I did. I did get the thing here. Well, never mind. But I have this this island properly mapped now, so that's something. Poison abolition and feeding the fishy wishies. I'm so sorry if you took psychic damage from me saying that. I, I took a little psychic damage saying that. If it makes you feel any better. I bring it up by pressing the plus button, or I can by using the pro controller. Well, this pressing the plus button for me just does this, so. That is my conundrum here. Do I have, like, a Wii pro controller? I don't remember. I might. Should I get rid of these guys? I feel like they're gonna get in my way while I'm exploring the island. And feeding that fish over there. I mean, why not? If they drop, you know, treasure boxes... Please don't fault me if I don't pick them up. Oh man, he's too far away for me to bother. Let me just feed the fish here first. I guess he can live. Oh, oops. There we go. 
Pro Controller is the only true option. Oh, thank you, Reddit. <laughs> Oi, small fry. Mm hmm. If only someone set up a shop inside Link's house so I had somewhere to spend the money. I don't want Ravia to kick out Grandma. It's horrible. Even Ravia was limits. So tell me, small fry, have you ever heard about the Golden Triumph Orcs? There are such things. And that island there has one of these golden items you keep hearing about. If you want it, try asking that huge, grouchy-looking stone watcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing, though. You've got skinny arms, Fry. How rude. They're just... Uh, toned. You know, for, for a 12-year-old or however old Link is. Where, where's the island I'm going to? It's so dark I can't see it. Is that it? I hope that's it. Uh, no, it's not. It is not actually it. It's the other islands on the square next to this one. There it is. Okay. Can I blow that mysterious crack up? Uh, it doesn't look like it, so never mind. Can you stop shooting at me, please? Link's arms are fine. It's his head that's messed up from all the concussing. It's okay. It builds character. Or erases character. I suppose, depending on how bad the concussion is. Link is just a little guy trademark, and little guys trademark are eternal. Also true. Like the Prince of All Cosmos, another choice little guy. Eh, in green. Who is also surprisingly strong, despite his diminutive size. Sorry, Link. Oh, what's all this then? I don't remember what's on this island. Some sort of gauntlet? Yeah, we should do a little guy tier list. Who else is on the little guy tier list, though? I say that. I, I want to nominate uh, the knight from Hollow Knight. I think they are an excellent little guy. And also, to be clear, when I say capital L, capital G, little guy, trademark, it's gender neutral. Being a little guy, trademark, is a state of mind. Missile for the little guy. Oh, that's a good one, too. I don't know if V counts as a little guy. I'm, I'm trying to think of how to describe the essence of what makes a character a capital L, capital G, little guy. I feel like they need to have this sort of... Not innocence, but like a guilelessness and earnestness about them. V's obsession with money and fame, I feel, does not fit the, the mindset of being a little guy. Little guys are, like, just vibing. They're just trying to live their lives, and they have destiny thrust upon them. I don't know, there's like an earnestness, again, a lack of guile. It's kind of tough to quantify. Chibi Robo is in the list, but not high. Even having not played Chibi Robo, I would, I would go with that. I would back that. I'm making a hurricane spin here for fun, or if they'll just prevent me from charging. Yeah. I don't I don't think that's happening. Ow. It's like trying to cast uh, seven point spells in eternal darkness. Sometimes there's just too much going on. You needed a guide for those crabs for the Nintendo gallery. Even the crabs have figurines in the gallery? The little crabs that, like, run away if you get too close and you can't interact with it all? You can't even pick them up? Maybe I want to hold a crab. Oh, this is where I came in from. Oops. Here we go. Game theory does orc no parka. Oh. The rabbit hole goes deep. Yeah. 
I bet Orca would like Chaturga. You know, aside from being like a, a universe ending uh, malevolent ancient. Bullet from Enter the Gungeon for a little guy. I haven't played Enter the Gungeon myself. I've played a little bit of co-op with it with my brother. Not very much, though. I remember playing with my brother and accidentally startling him to the point of hilarity. I might be getting this wrong because, again, I played a little bit of Enter the Gungeon forever ago, but um, my character had died during a boss fight, and then afterwards my brother found, like, a chest and he opened it, and there was suddenly, like, a loud spurt of confetti and cheering as my character emerged from the chest unharmed. And I think just the loud sound and the confetti startled my brother because he wasn't expecting it. It was very funny. Who is Deacon? I would love to learn about everyone's little guy nominations. Please tell me your thoughts on who you would like to see on a... I did it again. I thought, like, oh, the one with the door, the fancy thing above it is, is the exit. No, the fancy one is, is the one I'm going to. Anyway, capital L, capital G, little guy, trademark. And again, to reiterate, little guy is, is gender neutral. It is a state of being. It said check. Can I check? There we go. Designs that reflect wind are drawn here. I guess I gotta play a song after I get all this money that I'm not gonna spend. You know, I was already complaining about getting 200 rupees. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up all these symbols. Um, so the wind's Requiem or the wind god's Aria? Let's do this one first because it's shorter. There we go. Is the Ocean Thousand your door, little guy? Hmm. I'd say so. I think there's an earnest to Yoshi that makes him qualify as a little guy. Plus, he is quite literally a little guy in that he was just born. I got a Triforce shard. Now I only need six more. Man, that looks so much like a slice of cheddar, doesn't it? Just the edge of it. Can I have a little nibble? Please. Oh, hello, gamer. How are you, Belle? Bullet is a bullet kin that you can play as. He carries himself with a little red cape and a sword as opposed to a gun, which is what bullet kin tend to carry. So, like, a, a wait, sorry, I fumbled the gamepad. Um, a melee fighter? Oh, hang on. Hang on, there's a guy here. Oh, oh, my, that battery of mounted guns is a dangerous thing. If only someone could blow the entire lot of them to bits. It is such a shame that they exist, for there is something wonderful hidden there. Wow, that's... That's crass, sir. I can't believe you're clamoring for the extinction of those poor boats. Those poor, helpless boats. Menaced. Unrelentingly, by cruel, callous children. And you want them gone? I'm gonna take away your kaleidoscope. The pirate stand? Now I just feel like he wants me to blow up Beetle. He's telling me to kill Beetle. There we go. Is there any real point to doing that? No. But I feel better. You know, I never really noticed until just then that Uncle Boat ducks his head. Um, oh, man, I think... Hang on. I'm looking at... my... Uh, uh, map. Because, oh, I think I know where the, the ghost ship is right now. 
I don't know if I'll get there in time. I forget how close the nearest warp point is, but... Nox, hello! I'm sorry I missed your stream earlier. I got home from work and I passed out. Like a fool. Oh, this isn't what I wanted to play. Wrong wind song. I want this one. Good. The pirate stands have treasure when I blow up all the cannons. Is it good treasure? Like, let's be real. Is it worth it? Well, have a good one, Val. I hope you feel better. Drink some water, take some medicine. Maybe put a, a warm, damp cloth over your face. Sometimes that helps me when I have sinus problems. Would you wind up streaming, Nox? Okay. This is the spot. I think. Let me double check my chart here. My chart says this is the spot. Hmm. Will I find it in time? At least I'm pretty sure this is the spot. This looks like the- oops. I didn't mean to do that. You can come around these parts from just a wee bit of the left half. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yes! I found it! I found it! I'm glad you just- you just bored it, because I was like, do I have to pull up my hook shot? I don't remember. That floor looks good to step on, right? That's- that's not gonna- gonna kill me, or curse me, or probably possibly kill and then curse me. You played more cultist sim. No burger cult. Snow cult. Okay, I can step on this floor. That's fine. More Toucan Sam Wizrobes. Oh man, there's a lot of guys in here. I'm gonna get rid of the Wizrobe first, but I keep not Z-targeting the correct thing. Wizrobe. Wizrobe. Wait, Rita just, like, doesn't... <laughs> just turned to look at me. Like, you really just shot an arrow into the back of my head? Bro. Why would you do that, bro? Let's see if it does it again. <laughs> now, normal people would probably find that disquieting, but I just think it's really funny. Does this, like, meaningfully affect the redead in any way? No, it doesn't really seem like it. I can't kill it, I just paralyze it. There we go. Get rid of this one first. Goodbye. Man, that redead never even tried to hurt me. I feel a little bad about it. Uh, hang on. There we go. This is a weird thought, but this very definitely not cursed flooring looks like a kind of carpet you should be able to get in Animal Crossing. Sometimes you can get weird carpets in that game that have interesting effects on them. Maybe I want a carpet that looks like it has the faces of the damned on it. Then I can recreate the, the screaming room from Eternal Darkness in my Animal Crossing basement. Very uncursed. Again, look, it looks like a block of cheddar. Like, if you ignore the fact how the light shines across it like that, don't you just want to bite into it? What? Oh, I got kicked off the ghost ship. Am I not good enough for you, ghost ship? Fine. You know, I thought there was more to the ghost ship in this game. I'm a little disappointed. Didn't even really feel like that haunted beyond the, the carpeting. So is there anything up here? This little spiral island. 
The pirate stand treasure is pretty decent. See, I don't I, I don't know. It's not that I don't trust you because I do. But when you say that, a part of me is like, oh I bet it's another silver rupee or something. Oh, it's another Korok. <sighs> Hello, swordsman, except I think they all say the same thing. Yeah, they all say the same thing. Hmm. Maybe one of these days I'll feel bad enough to do that. How many pieces of heart do I have? No, I don't want to open tangle bottles. That's not... Oh, where? Hmm. Is there a way to see how many pieces of heart you have? Not worth going back to it. Well, then I shall not. Clearly there's a lot of things in this game that I can't be bothered to do. Uh, okay, let's see. Looking at the pieces I need. There's still a chart on that first island that was in the southwest of me. From one of the ships, it looks like. And yet I still don't know where it is or if I missed it somehow. Oh, it's a heart piece. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm also not going for 100% completion. Otherwise, I would go get it. Generally, in Zelda games, I don't go out of my way to get all the heart pieces. Um, sometimes, like, A Link Between Worlds, because I like that game a lot. And usually, because I like exploring a lot, that I'll wind up with most of them anyway. But a lot of the time, I just can't be bothered. In most games. Okay, let me have a look at my map here. I'm actually gonna go east, because I haven't mapped uh, what's east of me either. A decent treasure, but not worth going back to. Alas. Okay, so I'm gonna map what's beside me. And I also want to go back to Windfall Island, because I do remember there's a thing I have to do there. Oh, sea hats. Ugh. Okay, why do they look like that? Why are they so big? Oh, please. I need to find the fish here. Uh-huh. I need to find the fish here. I need to find the fish and get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, I'm not getting that treasure. Ugh. It's so hard to see. All I see are these pea hats out from my blood. Okay, fish, fish. There you are. Oh, and they make the worst helicopter noises. Okay. There you go. GameFAX is a magical website. I remember even just reading facts for games that I didn't have, like just wasn't able to play because I didn't have them, just because I was interested in learning about them and there were no other resources. And like the ASCII art people would make. You've seen those weird rings of light that appear in the seas at night, haven't you? Yeah, well, those things are a sure sign that there's treasure in the deeps, Fry. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine. Yeah. There are these special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open a treasure chart. They say that those mark the spots where the greatest treasures are hidden. Thank you, Fish. I'm glad chat reminded me of that much, much earlier in my stream of this game. Because I had forgotten that treasure charts have um, special distinctions um, for the rings of lights that they make appear, but also that you have to open the treasure charts first. Is it worth going in here and blowing up the cannons? I don't need a treasure chart to get benefit from it, do I? What? I mean, I could just go in here anyway and blow up some dudes. There we go. The first time you 100%ed Wind Waker, you used a guide. But the next time you just went across the sea multiple times. Can I blow this up? I can't. 
Hey, this game is unique for Zelda's in that it does technically tell you where to find everything. You are correct. Which I think is appreciated. I don't know about you, but I think it rankles me when there's... Like, in, like there's things in a game that you would just never figure out without a guide. And I don't mean, you know, like deliberate secrets or Easter eggs or stuff that, you know, ultimately doesn't affect you um, clearing the game to 100%. But when, like, there's just, I don't know, weird esoteric things that you never would have thought to do normally. Just from a design perspective, it's it's irritating. I'm a really stubborn person, so I don't like looking up guides. Unless I'm, like, really stuck. And even then, I wish there was a resource where you could just get a gentle nudge. Because sometimes, like, say if I'm stuck on a puzzle, I don't want to be told how to solve it. But maybe I just want to nudge in the correct direction. So I have an idea of what I have to do. Can I climb up on the side here and then, like, hookshot to that chest? If the, the tide goes up enough. Yep. Maybe up here? Yes. There's a website like that? And that's also true. That is what Chad is here for. And I'm very appreciative. Universal hint system. Oh! I guess the downside is that whatever game you're playing, you would have to hope that there's an entry for. I guess maybe I have to glide over there. With the leaf. Oh, I can try it, I guess. Am I gonna make it from here? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh well. Yeah, that's not happening. Well. How on earth do I get up there? I'm not sure. Each reef has a point that's a little higher than the rest. Is that where I... Do I have to glide from there? Or can I use the hook shot? Oh, that must be the high point. Let's go all the way around. Ugh. How tedious. I wonder if I can speed it up a little if I, like, hook shot. If I'm not close enough. save that much time. I remember when I was playing through Trauma Team on the uh, the Wii, um, there's a bunch of like secret little challenges you can do and a lot of them aren't really... there's like a a hint system that you get after, I think, beating the game, but a lot of them still aren't very clear. And there's some in one of the characters' chapters, there are hidden multiple choice quizzes that you can do, but they're on medicine, and sometimes the answers are so, like, you need to have four years of medical school to know it without consulting a guide. Um, that I just looked up uh, a fact for it. Because I wanted to see what these things were. But the game doesn't really give you enough information. It's like, well, I've already beaten the game, so, you know, it's not like it's going to spoil the story. And the guide was so condescending. I never read anything that was so contemptuous of the people it was written for. Like, it hurt to read because it was just mean. And insulting the people reading their guide for, like, why are you using a guide? And, like, only in much harsher language. Finally, a game for doctors. I guess I'll open that treasure chart. You know, since I have it. Uh, do I have any more that I've neglected to open? Nope, that's it. Okay. Um... Okay, it looks like slightly south and then two to the east of me, there's another uh, Triforce Shard, so I'm gonna go there. So let me find Uncle Boat. 
I mean, you know, no skin off my back reading that guy, but it was just... It was bizarre. Just the... The... Acrimony that was expressed in that guide was baffling. Like, again, why would you write a guide when it was very clear that this person held people who would use a guide in incredible contempt? <laughs> oh man, I really want to play Baroque. I've, like, it just sounds weird, but also, I'm not gonna say inaccessible, but. I've heard, like, there's so many secrets that are really hard to figure out. It's just really difficult. It's a roguelike. You have to die to progress the plot. Like, roguelikes, you know, you go into it expecting that you're going to die. But that one especially. Um, okay, so let's put the statue. I just wanna, I just wanna feed the fish. I just wanna feed the fish. Please, please. Oh, why are we so big? It's gonna pull the oh oh I don't like that at all oh I wanted bait <laughs> tried to hit the fish with my hook shot oh oh please it's baroque and it needs fixing I wish there was a good let's play of it. That's what I really want, because I'm interested in the story of Baroque, but I've heard it's just difficult to play. It's obtuse, it's challenging, but not in like a, a fair way. It gets frustrating, but it just seems so strange and aesthetically I love it. I want to know what's going on. Is there a comprehensive let's play of Baroque out there somewhere? I don't care what version, Saturn, PS2, Wii, whatever. I'm going to hydrate and then read this fish. Oh, there we go. Pika Spray did a Let's Play of it with a friend of his. Was it a, like, a very thorough Let's Play? Because I'm really interested in, like, deep looks into the story and mechanics versus a blind Let's Play. Hoi, small fry! Because that way I can learn about, you know, all the secrets that I wouldn't have the patience to find myself. Very brutal. A lot of early Atlas games are brutal. Oh, I know that feeling. A famed pictographer, pictographer, photo guy, lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pictography. He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? I was kind of hoping he would say pictography more so I could switch pronunciations every time. <laughs> Please, stop. It, they don't actually do that much damage, <laughs> which is funny, but I want to visit Beetle, actually. I'm low on bait. Hang on. Why are there so many of them? Ugh. Why don't I leave Beetle alone? Maybe they have some sort of symbiotic relationship. The pea hats keep, like, the cannon ships away. Whoa! You think Beetle, like, eats those pears? He looks so malnourished. Thank you! Kinda wish I could share Grandma's soup with him. But it's my soup that I'm probably never gonna remember to drink. You know why? Because it gives you that double attack bonus, but only until you get a hit. And knowing my luck, I'll use it and then immediately get, like, gently scraped by something. Okay, let's see. Um, so just to the right of me, uh, there is another shard. However, I haven't actually mapped out the islands down just to the southwest of me, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. Excuse me. He looks like he's in need of soup. Yes. Maybe a hug. Maybe some gentle affirmation. Like a shirt, maybe? I don't know. It probably gets cold out here at night. 
the Let's Play archive is showing that there's a, a Let's Play. But it wasn't archive, see, I needed something awful account, heck. I've had that happen a couple times, we're like, oh, there's a Let's Play of this thing, but it's not on, like, lparchive.org. And I don't have an account, <laughs> so... Alas! Uh, where... fish? Where is the fish for this island? Fish gotta be around here somewhere, right? Another beetle. I don't need that beetle, it's not the fancy beetle. I don't remember where the fancy, I mean, sorry, not actually beetle guy in a helmet is. I just wanna find the fish before I, I step on the island, otherwise I will forget to find the fish. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I see it. I wish I could power slide with this boat. Multi-track drift with this boat. Okay. Eh. Beetle took those bites out of the pears. A little for him, a little for the customer. Yeah, and the original... Uh, GameCube release of Wind Waker. I can't remember. Did the sea hats bump you off Uncle Boat when they hit you? Because that's my recollection, is that they knock you off. You always called Great Fish Island Grapefruit Island, <laughs> which is a better name. No, no offense to, to Lord Jabin. I just like grapefruit. Tell me, small fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The wind deity, Cyclos, uses those cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously, or so I've heard. Could be just a rumor. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up his power easily. You can't get near the guy, so you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know... Flip! Flip! I tell ya! You get my point, Fry? Thank you, Fish. Oh, Curtis, hello! How are you doing this fine evening? Or whatever time it may be in the time zone you are at. Now I can check out this island. Will it be worth my time? Let's find out. Plunk. Please give Beetle a shirt. <laughs> what does he do with all the money that we spend? What does he spend it all on? I'm not going to talk to this Korok because they all say the same thing as far as I'm aware, but look at him. He's got like an artisanal flatbread pizza for a mask. I want to read this. I want to read this. To reach Southern Fairy Island, head east from here. Thank you. Uh, iron boots. Come on. There you go. Get my shoes. Big steppy. And then we'll get my hammer. Gas money. Costs a lot of money to power that boat, I guess. Ugh. These aren't timed or anything, right? I just have to hit them all. Eh. Okay. Are they timed? Because, uh, that switch I stepped on, hmm. Maybe they are timed. Beetle heavily invest invests in crypto, which is why he looks broke. And probably why he looks so depressed, too. <laughs> Do they have to be done in order? I was wondering that, too. Let's find out. Uh, okay. So that reset that, so... Okay. Then let's try the hammer. Bonk. Okay, there we go.
The other day you saw a striped spider, the ones that hunt those recluse spiders that are actually dangerous, and you said to it, thank you for your service. And they do do a great service. I also appreciate how spiders eat mosquitoes. Is that not it? Did I donk it up? Or is it in fact timed? So I don't actually have the hammer equipped, but I'm still holding it. I've been lambasted by co-workers and such before for always trying to escort uh, insects and spiders outside. Oh, here we go. They are timed. Well, it worked out. I just eventually bumbled into the correct time. Here we go. Mini blends. I really don't like squishing insects. If I can avoid it. I do tend to strike down mosquitoes, but... We don't get very many mosquitoes here, which I suppose is one of the perks of living in a very dry climate. I mean, we, we get mosquitoes, but not to the degree you do if you live somewhere with a lot more moisture. Since mosquitoes, I believe, breed in standing water, and it's so dry here. Um, I thought I'd get the parry command, I did not. But because it's so dry here that um, we don't get a lot of them most of the time. Which I suppose is a good thing, you know, especially if I have one of sensitive skin like me. Something else I have to do in here, right? No, just just bite these guys, I guess. I get the parry. I did not get the parry. Parry the platypus. Good. Oh man. There we go. Ow. Bad. Ah. That's not what I want. It's a little tricky when there's a lot of them. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Get out of here. Stop. These little guys are like mosquitoes. It's getting in the way. Ah, jeez. Stop. Stop. I'm fighting big guys. Go away. Please. Man, did these guys ever stop coming? Like, I thought surely... Surely the... the Dark Nuts would be the last of it, but no. Toucan Sam, you get back here. You don't get many mosquitoes either. That's good. Ugh. You all annoy me. Wait, I better get something really good here. Oh, man, Toucan Sam. Ugh. Oh, man. Bot. It's been so long since we've had a bot. Could a kind moderator. Onegashimasu. I really gotta do something about Toucan Sam. Thank you. <laughs> They're kind of jiggly. Jello armor. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm trying to hop away here. 
<laughs> How convenient. I gotta be near the end of this this gauntlet, right? Since that dark nuts in black. Fancy armor. Oh no! You were gonna go to that site and get followers. You know what I see a lot of on the bird site? Is if you post anything related to Twitch, usually you get like... I don't know if they're bots exactly, but it's like... People... I think they're bots. They're, they're just like... Uh, pretending to offer commissions for stream assets. And either they're they're stolen or they're they all use like the same generator site to generate like the same looking assets. And I think surely like no one's actually falling for this, but then they have people that either use their services or just faked accounts. I don't know. Why are they so rampant though? Hello Jacob, welcome. All of that for two hundred dollars. Uh Link should be able to put a down payment on a house at this point. Sorry, I hit the mic. I'm very sorry. I was moving my gamepad to stretch my hand. And I bonked the mic. One of these days, I'd love to get uh, a fancy, like a boom microphone. But good ones are really expensive. I, I feel like I have this weird irrational fear that, okay, if I invest in one, my computer's gonna break or something. Or, like, something is going to happen to prevent me from streaming. So I'll have this fancy mic and I won't be able to use it for its intended purpose. Oh, was there a big light ring? Or you mean the ones that only light up at night time? I guess those are the ones that only light up at night. Do they let Link live in the castle? Why would they let Link live in the castle? I mean, sure, he does everything for them, but... Maybe. They'd never grant him such luxury. I don't know if Link would want to live in the castle anyway. It is kind of uh, underwater. Was there something else on that island and I forgot about it? I mean, there's there's money up there, which I could maybe get with a gull. But I don't know if that's really worth it. Is there anything else on this island aside from the Korok? I think these are probably all just money. But I'll, I'll, I'll pick up one more. Is it $50? Belatedly, I don't know if it's a generator app. I think it's like just a website. Where you can, you know, like, oh, we'll upload photos and you can... It'll slap like a Photoshop filter on them so they look drawn. And then people just use that to make, you know, quick graphics for Twitch and whatnot. Which isn't inherently a bad thing, but that it's people taking those free graphics made with a generator and then reselling them as commissions. A cave up there? Uh, I only see money. I don't feel like that's worth summoning a goal for. I can't believe I fought all those guys for $200. Yeah, one could just steal Photoshop and apply a filter for free of themselves. There's actually, there's a website, I think it's called PhotoP, P-E-A. Just, just to be clear, P-E-A, like the legume. Um, that is just browser-based Photoshop, essentially. I've used it a couple times for adding text to files, because usually I use Clip Studio Paint, but it doesn't really have a good built-in text editor. Compared to some of the things you can do with Photoshop, particularly um, things like warping the text, uh, Clip Studio Paint, to my knowledge, can't do that. It's just a blue chew up there. Ugh, who needs those? Okay, so somewhere on this island is another Triforce shard. Or maybe not island, just this area. Oh, sorry. Not here. One more east. 
Not, not P hat, C hat, hellscape. Oh, jeez. Oh, again, on the GameCube, this, this spot used to freak me out so bad. I never wanted to go near it. I used to use Photoshop back in school. I'd taken a class on graphic design. But it wasn't a well-run class, and the teacher didn't really know what he was doing. So he would just be like, yeah, look up Photoshop tutorials online and just do Photoshop tutorials all day. Well, not all day, for, you know, like the hour and a half the class was. It was very dull and not very educational, because there was no direction. So I basically just goofed off and doodled on Photoshop, which also wasn't really that useful, but it felt more productive than, oh yeah, let's let's do a Photoshop tutorial on how to apply like a, a bevel effect to something or how to make lightning. It was disappointing, honestly. I remember that year uh, my school had also introduced like a, a video game design class, which I thought, oh, I love games. That'll be really cool. But um, it was all like, yeah, just make stuff in the Unreal Engine. Not, no, it wasn't even Unreal. Like, was it Unreal? I don't remember what engine it was. But like, again, no real instruction. Just, yeah, make make a map and we'll play it at Unreal Tournament at, at the end of the, the semester or whatever. It was not well done. Well, it was in high school. I didn't pay for it. You know, beyond like... Anyway, uh, sorry. I, did I skip fish dialogue? No, this is this is the start of new fish dialogue. Sorry. Distracted. So tell me, small fry. Have you heard of the golden set of triumph forks? It's right there, I tell you. The article genuine in that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. Okay. You better be thankful for the clues you got from me. I'm serious. Oh, oh, I already got this this guy. Oh, yeah, I already got this guy. Oops. Oh, oh yeah, this this island. Oh, this is the the cabana. I think I actually need to go to Outset Island for this one. Um, let me have a quick peek at my incredible chart. So two more to the east of me. It looks like there's another chart I need to get. So I'm going to go there since it's nearby. And then I'm going to go, sorry, not to outset. Did I say outset windfall and do what I need to get in that cabana? It wasn't multimedia fusion or game maker. I don't remember what it was. But again, it wasn't informative. It just felt like a waste of time, which was really frustrating. And it was also like... Like... 95% boys. And... High school boys, you know, they can, they can be a certain way. Not very inviting, let's say. Furiously typing up an essay rant since I mixed up Outset and Windfall. Yay. You know, I've noticed when I look back at older streams of mine is that I know I'm distractible and I have an awful habit of... I mean to say, like, the name of one thing, but the name of something else comes out and I don't notice while I'm streaming. But after the fact, you know, if I'm check out the recording and I, I just want to reach in, in, into the screen and strangle past Mori. And it's such a minor infraction, but things like when I was streaming Color Splash, I would say Origami King by accident. Like, yeah, it's minor, but it, it irritates me. My brain runs so quickly that sometimes it's difficult for my mother mouth to keep up. Oh, 200 rupees. 200. The boys in your college game art class were awesome and not weird. It's very lucky. Maybe it's different at college level. But high school boys... Well, you know, high school boys be high school boys. There's the fish. Plunk. No 
Okay. Film and graphics class. That would be interesting. Was it well implemented? Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the Golden Triumph Forks? They're there on that island. Or at least, a chart leading to them is there. Where is it hidden, you ask? Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a gull. And that's all the info I've got to offer. You learn the majority of Photoshop stuff through making live journal icons as nature intended. Amen. That's when you learn to do, like, fun Photoshop, Photoshop filters and text effects. Is for live journal icons. Please no one here say what's live journal. <laughs> to reach Thorn Fairy Island, head north from here. Oh, I don't have that one marked on my map. Maybe that's where I can get a quiver upgrade. Okay, now uh, let's see. Let's go to my items. I'll take my grappling hook. Wish. Ask a gal. We better go talk to Tetra then. Poor Tetra. Get up there. I still feel bad for her just being stuck down there. Like, I enjoy the Zelda series very much, as you may or may not be able to tell. But it's frustrating with what they do with Zelda as a character, which is to say. Not much. Like, I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom yet, as we all know, but I remember um, when that trailer first launched, like many people, I was really hoping that Zelda herself would be playable. Especially, you know, she's got that cute short hair, she's ready for adventure. But then I guess she gets kidnapped or something, and winds up in, like, a far worse outfit. It's hideous. It's hideous. I will not be swayed on this. Oh heck, I missed. I missed. I missed. I was doing so well. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'll come back for that one. Go, 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 go. No! You know, I only saw, I think, I only caught loose streaming this game once. Very disappointingly. But, I think it was on this island. She- ow! My bird! She's not kidnapped for once. Oh! But you can't play as her. Oh. Thank you for saying that new outfit is ugly. I've never heard anyone say that they think it's ugly. Not that I've looked, because, you know, I, I don't want to spoil the game for myself. They just- ugh! I hate it! You know, she already had perfectly good adventuring gear and that cute haircut. And you give her this hideous new look. Gosh darn it! I have to get them all again? Why can't Go be equipped with some sort of weapon? I think the bird should be allowed to fight back. Like, I don't know, attach a, like a, a laser to the top of this Gull's head. Oh, I can't see the top. Yeah, there it is. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> For the love of... Does that reset my switch progress? Out of the other characters I've seen with those similar outfits, I don't like any of their designs, but that's just personal design preference. Move, please. Move, please. What? I grazed that! I Toho grazed that! There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Tears of the Kingdom designs that I've seen either, but again, it's it's personal preference. There we go! Okay, wonderful. You are free from your service, Gull. 
Yeah, the character design specifically. How similar are the different Zeldas, like, personality-wise? Okay, same, same as it ever was. I know, the Zeldas have varied over the years. Um, like, you get ones like, say, Ocarina of Time Zelda that is very regal and determined and has a, a very sort of like graceful presence or twilight princess zelda which i think seems sterner and more determined um or then you have spirit track zelda who's very fiery and cheeky um very tetra-esque who is also an excellent zelda i mean i'd say spoilers but look at what we're playing look at where we are um or uh Skyward Sword Zelda had a cute, didn't mean to do that, cute childhood uh, friend um, sort of bend to her character as opposed to being a princess. But yeah, Breath of the Wild Zelda is a big nerd, and I find it very charming. Um, I like nerdy scientist Zelda, and I believe they, they mentioned um, as to why the Zelda in Smash Bros., um, in Ultimate is uh, based more on like a mixture of like the link to the past, um, uh, a link between worlds design as opposed to um, Breath of the Wild Zelda, which was the more recent release at the time, just because Breath of the Wild Zelda is a scientist and a researcher, unlike every elder, other Zelda who is ready to throw down at a moment's notice. <laughs> But also a big thing about Breath of the Wild Zelda is that she hadn't really come into her powers yet. Whereas most other Zeldas um, have already developed prof proficiency in magic. But then, have the other Zeldas gotten super hype over a cute frog? No. Do the other Zeldas have thick eyebrows? No. Oh. I was kind of hoping there'd be more pears. I don't know if there's anything like I need more pears for, but you know, it'd be nice to have like a couple. Thank you. 25 points. I'm so close. Bye. Oh man, I should have gone to that Thorn Fairy Island. Oh well. Eh. I'll get to it. I haven't charted it yet, so. Breath of the Wild is a game about a man losing his job because his daughter won't get off her daggone phone. I guess. I haven't played Age of Calamity. Does she fight in that one? I don't know. Um, I haven't played, like, Hyrule Warriors. But the designs in that game... Especially, like, the, the original character, like, oh, what's her name, Sia? They don't seem like a Zelda game, like, a, a Zelda game character. There's just a way they're designed that just feels like you can tell it's from a different studio. A different director. It's just very anime girl, as opposed, like, trendy anime girl design, as opposed to Zelda girl design. Um, we need to talk. Oh. No, wait. I need to give her joy pendants, yeah? Here we go. Like this. My dear! That's... Ma. A joy pendant! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else. And that... Why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes! I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist. Only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. 
And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Ma'am, how come you're awake and standing in the schoolhouse at two in the morning? Actually, why am I awake and standing in the schoolhouse at two in the morning is a better question. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? Twenty-eight? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me. Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, my dear. My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promised, I will reward you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you... A wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. You got the cabana deed. It's written on yellow parchment. It looks quite old. Dum da dum. You see, although I am but a beer teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately I haven't made use of it at all, so you can have it. <laughs> it's all right, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I am getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me of late. Now I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with the children. And just so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little isle near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Okay, there's a lot to unpack there. Like, lady, I'm like 12. I don't need a bachelor pad. I mean, I could afford much better with my 2,700 rupees. Um, but also... This this rich lady just basically gave me her summer home for just bringing her some cheap trinkets. So thanks, rich people. No concept of of, of wealth. What's that like Lucille Bluth quote about like how much could a banana possibly cost or something? He's a child and he owns a home. He's better than any of us will ever be. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of water, one sec. Kids these days can't afford homes because they're all going to the hands of 12-year-olds with better business sense. How many of you have seen... A teacher of yours outside of school it's always really weird isn't it I remember seeing one of mine in like a grocery store before it just like it it feels weird not quite like a boundary violation but it's like you're you're seeing them when you shouldn't you know I think especially when you're little that because you only see your teachers in this very specific structured environment that seeing them outside of that being people is is striking it's a banana michael how much it could it cost ten dollars exactly exactly that is that teacher 50 year old link complaining about kids these days thinking it's hard to get a home even though he found it so easy you just gotta be born into wealth I like, come on, just get be bored rich forehead. Okay, yeah, I guess having like a a, a a history like that with your teacher would would make seeing them outside of class less jarring. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem. This cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel! Away with you! Away, I say! Oh, yeah? 
Oh, yeah. Well, I have... Uh, here it is. Eh. Ew! Unclean! Most foul! Don't lay those grungy hands! Wait. That's... Why, that's the... Are you... Are you the new master? Are you Master Mori? Ah! Oh, I am so pleased to hear that name. Master Mori. Please be gentle on this fine door. <sighs> don't make it weird. Oh, I don't want to hold his hand. If you don't have money, just go outside and cut grass. Sir, the grass is dying. All oh, the puzzle in here, right. Does it... Does he have, like, little braided pigtails? Am I seeing things? It looks like he's got little braided pigtails. Very fashionable? I could smash those without any consequence. But they're mine. I guess this is my maid. Link is extremely clean if salty. Ah, master! Do you have an interest in the amusements of the nobility? I do, indeed. Well, in that case, would you care to hear an explanation of the game? I mean, I know what this game is already, but indeed I would. Please tilt left stick up, down, left, or right to move the panels and try to arrange the picture. I will place the final panel in the top right space to complete the painting. Oh, and Master, please bear in mind that this game is for amusement only. If you are successful, all I can offer as a reward is money. Do remember that. Do you understand the game? The rules escape me, most certainly. Very good, Master. Please enjoy yourself. <laughs> as Endora says, Mori, I expect you to do the puzzle in here. Wouldn't it be so cruel if you had to solve all fifth? I think it was 15 of them? To, to uh, get the Triforce piece? Oh my god. I'll fiddle with this for a bit, but I'm gonna be real with you, I am awful at these. Like, I kinda get it, in theory, but it's, just, it's like Professor Layton, like, when you just can't quite make it all come together, it's infuriating. Now do- what do you all think of- oh, there's a headpiece down there- of, Lighty tile puzzles. Because I know some people like them. Some people at least don't mind them. I hate 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 them. My inability to plan multiple moves in advance. I feel like I just I just slide them around forever. Forever. And this is a 4x4 four four one. Like, you know, at least start me out with like the baby mode 3x3. Three I'm not even looking at chat, because I'm sure chat is like, Mori, I could have solved this 30 moves ago. And you probably could have. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. Do you wish to quit? No. <laughs> I will continue, no. Sadly, I must quit. I am sorry to have bothered you with such a trifling thing. Most terribly sorry. Uh, all of a sudden, I've become painfully aware of my existence as a door. <laughs> Where? You're good at them, so they're fine to you. Oh, what's the secret bell? I think I have to go in the fireplace, don't I? That's my recollection. I wanted to break them. Eh. Man, how come... There's snot boy on the wall. Like, the rest of this place is so fancy. And then there's just snot boy. And then a sliding tile puzzle of snot boy. I don't know why I ex what I expected. There's gotta be a way to get behind there. Hmm. Can I use my leaf in here? No. Can I use anything in here? A grappling hook. The snot boy painting is worth like 20 million rupees. <laughs> Man, I could buy so many... So, 
Snow many snot boy paintings with this haul. Oh no. No, my snot boy snot boy painting funds. I just need to stop trying to say snot boy, I guess. Oh, there's the 50 in there. Oh, it's killing me. I can't get up there, though. <laughs> hmm. Aha! Here we go. You wants me to program to solve kinds of puzzles like that one for a university assignment. Wow. You can just algorithmically, algorithmically train a program to do that. Ratto. Great. Whoa. Don't do that. My savings are depreciating in front of me. I'll know that my, my cabana is going down in value. On brand for a rich person. Weird art. Sometimes I think it would be nice to have the kind of money where I could hang artwork in my home. You know what I would really love is to have enough disposable income that I could commission artists. Because there's a lot of artists out there that I really enjoy the work of. And I'd love to commission them, but I just don't have the money for it. And they definitely deserve to be paid a lot, because art is a skill, and it takes a lot of time to refine. I know there's a lot of artists out there that, you know, are worried about setting their commission prices too high, thinking, oh, no one will pay for them, or if I make them too high, people will complain. But no, you gotta be paid well for your art. Okay, so... Out. I unlock this gate. Am I going through here? I guess I go down here? I can go here. I guess, yeah, not training isn't the word I want, like, not... But just being able to recognize how to reason out a solution from... Uh, just where it's at in the puzzle. I don't know if I'm phrasing it well, but either way, that's very impressive. Oops. Come on, like, open. Open? There you go. Oh. Oops, don't, don't, I want to, I want to press A to crawl in there, but I have to press ZR. I think it's because when I, you, you climb into vents in Persona 5, which is what I've been playing off stream, um... It is the A button. Really enjoying that game, by the way. Not not gonna spoil anything, because that would be very hypocritical, but I'm having a good time with it. Again, I wish more games just let you have a little cat that, like, sat in a bag and came with you everywhere. That was just your pal, and, like, gently encouraged you and helped you figure out your schoolwork and whatnot. You have a friend who sold her art at things, and she felt so wrong selling it at higher than $20. Not even prints, just the actual thing. Ow. Her family and you were just constantly telling her, please charge more. I don't blame her, because again, there's... That's not what I wanted to target with. There we go. A lot of people out there just don't respect art as a skill and get just like downright abusive when it comes to people setting fair commission prices like they'll harass the artists for like how dare you charge this much why don't you bring the price down for me personally blah 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 and it's it's disheartening to see um and i i've seen a lot of artists feel pressured in the sense that oh, i have to undercharge for my art, because otherwise no one's going to want it, and I don't want to risk getting hate for it. So again, a lot of people don't recognize art as a skill that takes a lot of time to refine. There's still people out there that don't respect digital art, thinking, oh, you just press a button and art happens. Although, uh, I guess with, like, people 
you know, using AI. Ugh, I hate AI art. It's just, ugh. But I mean, no surprises there. I am an artist myself. I don't like how it essentially scrapes work from other people. Um, okay, this is not where I need to go. I think I want to go right here. You know, I've, I've always wanted to, like, appreciate more was... I haven't been to a convention in a long time, but just going to, like, an artist alley and just checking out all the art there. But I'd always feel so awkward, like, browsing but not buying anything. Oh, I've been here. Heck, hang on. Let me go to the most recent area I unlocked. I think here. Ah, jeez, Rattos! I mean, I was already saying I have too much money, so I don't know why I'm so bothered. It's the principle of the matter! Stop! 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 Um, I, I, now I don't remember where I was going with this, but anyway, art is a skill. And people deserve to be compensated fairly for a skill that takes so long to refine. I need to post more of my art and just make more stream assets. But also just because of my hands and my back that it can be difficult to make art some days. I do draw every day, but I get frustrated sometimes that I'm just not able to come up with anything really polished a vast majority of the time. Just because I'm, I'm too tired or just my body can't really handle it um or it's just it's hard to focus like i get a lot of brain fuzz you know as you may or may not have noticed while i'm streaming just because of things like chronic pain and it makes it very hard to hold a coherent idea in my head i don't say that for sympathy reasons it's more um it's just something that i've experienced when trying to make art why do i feel like i keep going in circles Clearly I'm missing something. Like, I've already- this is the ladder near the start, right? I do keep going in the same hole. But I- I forget, like, where I've been. <laughs> oh, thank you. But as I said, it's- it's alright, and I mean, you know, I'm still working on seeing my doctor and otherwise getting things treated. Yeah, the hole is made for me! Uh, maybe I should try and pay more attention about where I'm going. Because I'm monologuing and then I forget where I've been. Pick a direction, stick with it. You're right. I'm going to go left. I'm going to keep going left. Running my hand on the left wall, in theory. Okay, yeah, and then I just come out this hole. No, I don't want to crawl on there backwards. Okay, I'm going to keep going left. Did I, in fact, just go in a circle? I freaking did. Well, see, now no, I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm going to keep going left. <laughs> That's why I shouldn't be monologuing while I, I'm doing something I should pay attention for. Give me some landmarks or something. Jeez. Poor Link, his clothes must be filthy. I see why the door was so disgusted. Oh, here we go. Here's a new room. It's not really an exciting room. It's just more money. Although that does kind of beg the question is why the teacher... Does she have a name? She must have a name. I can't think of what it is. Um, why her cabana has this labyrinth beneath it. This elaborate sewer system with hidden caches of treasure. Miss Marie, thank you. Oh, is this the one I've been up already? It is. Okay. So I'm gonna go back down, and I'm gonna keep going left. And I have a better idea of how everything is interconnected. I'm sure I'm going to find whatever it is I'm looking for at the very end. The ladder was progress? Didn't I go up there already, though? 
Like, doesn't that just lead back to sort of the central area that I've been opening up with the skull hammer? Oh, except, yeah, I'm, I'm back here, so... Maybe it was progress, and I just missed it. That's the stream, Link just crawling in holes for like an hour. One is a shortcut back to the star. Oh, oh, oh. I see. I see. And now I think I'm actually going the wrong way. I'm going nope. Okay. I can I can go up here. Oh Taito, I'm sorry. Oh, that sounds miserable. Okay. Is this progress? Well. Okay. So I guess same rule applies. I'm just gonna keep going in a direction. Let's go right this time, since I went in the rightmost vent. Okay, what what is up here? Okay. This is just like back to where I've been before, I think. Let me keep crawling down there. Ooh. Unless that was progress, in which case I'm sorry. I feel like I should play some music in the background while I do this. I mean, I already sang Sonic songs during Eternal Darkness. I need some more tunes for Zelda. Are there other games out there that have really good vocal soundtracks, like, you know, the Sonic Adventure games? I guess Persona 5 does, thinking about it. Okay, no, this is, this is where the orange rupee was, so I guess I do want to go in that other ladder. Gosh, I'd love to go swimming again. I really miss swimming. I feel like if my skin heals to the point where I could go swimming, that's something I'll do. Because there is, like, a, a YMCA or something not super far from me. So that's something I could feasibly do. But it's been so long since I've worn a bathing suit. I feel weird about it. Logirex Sonic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we all know that, that music peaked with Pumpkin Hill. There's nowhere to go but down, baby. Um... I guess, have I just not gone in this hole? Oh. I guess I just haven't. Okay. Miss Marie, why do you have this in your cabana? Sir, stop, stop, stop. Please, I don't like being touched. Cease! Come on. I like the one on the ghost ship better. That one was funny. These ones are just rude. Well, anyway, that took entirely too long. All for $10. Look at all of those cool ammonite fossils, though. That's the real treasure. Oh, I opened that skull hammer gate, and then I just kept going down the first hole, because somehow I just missed it. Oh, see what I mean about brain fuzz? It's aggravating. And I feel like it's been more apparent lately. Just because I've been dealing with a lot more pain as of late, especially with regards to my hands. Because I love streaming, and I love watching this rat just do donuts in perpetuity. But it's frustrating when my body does not allow me to perform at the best of my abilities. Or I know I can be quick-witted and skilled and erudite, and then sometimes my brain is just static. You know, he Newman. Again, I do navigate better when I'm playing by myself. Something about streaming makes me extra distractible. I feel like as an experiment, I should try recording something where I'm not live. I just record it on my own side. So I'm not reading a chat. 
and I can focus more. That is not what I wanted to read. <sighs> Godspeed, rat. Somewhere that rat is still going to to this day. He's a human. Okay. I can't believe I just ignored that hole forever. That was the hole that was made for me. I've let down Jinji Ito. I'm sorry, sir. I think I just got turned around. I sure did. Yeah, human communication consumes a lot more attention than we give it credit for. I've noticed that with other people, too, is that, like, they're very thoughtful and well-spoken. But then streaming makes it all exponentially more difficult because your attention is divided into multiple places at once. So not only are you trying to play a game, but you're reading a chat and also parsing what people are saying and thinking of how to respond to it, as well as what's going on in the game. And it might not seem much saying it out loud, but it's very demanding on one's attention. I trip over my words a lot more while I'm streaming too. But that's okay. I have a good time with it. And I hope you do too. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna go this a ways around the island. Here we go. And I'm gonna go to that, what's it called? Thorned Fairy Island? To see if I can't get... I'm hoping for a quiver upgrade. It's not like I'm running out of arrows, but I just like having them, you know? It's something awful on the Let's Play forum, at least in the olden days. Commentary added in post was always preferred. More editing can be scripted a bit. I concur. Um, if someone is doing, like, an informative Let's Play, I like post-commentary just because they can edit things out, um, if need be, and just sort of cut out the chaff. I mean, I like watching people stream through games live as well, um, but if I seek out a Let's Play for something, I prefer the informative sort um, that's very thorough about game mechanics and all the story beats and secrets and all that. Because um, oftentimes I'll look up Let's Plays for games that um, I don't have the time or the equipment or just whatever to play or... There's a lot of games out there that narratively I find interesting, but um, the gameplay isn't accessible for whatever reason. Like again, time or money or stuff like Baroque, where the gameplay isn't really great in that it's brutal and I don't have the time for that. So Let's Plays are a good way of experiencing the story. Um, and that's why I prefer the informative ones. My least favorite are, like, the group ones. Like, group commentary Let's Plays. Um, they don't tend to be informative. And I'm not saying that they're bad, they're just not my thing. Um, because again, I want that information and not, like, a bunch of people goofing off. Tell me, small fry, do you have any of them golden feathers? I hear those things are all the rage with Rito ladies on Dragon Roost Island these days. They just go gaga over them. But the thing is, the only way to get a golden feather is to defeat one of those bird monsters. Or so they say. Yep. Rito men who have girlfriends sure have tough lots in life, I tell ya. Is it better if they don't have girlfriends? What about Rito boyfriends? What if Rito just don't want to date? I'm watching you. It's more to my- oh, nope, here it is. Thought it was more to my right, but I got it. Oh, I got a piece of heart. Wonderful. This fish could be a barman and information broker. Yeah. I go to I go to like a pub run by a fish. I try like a, a fish made cocktail. A twenty golden feathers to be the hardest spoils prize to get. So you gotta find those rocks, yeah. I don't really know a good way to uh, like a good place to reliably find them. 
in bulk. Can you use like the uh, the grappling hook on them to uh, yoink feathers off of them? Like how you can steal necklaces and whatnot from moblins? Eh. Here we go. Hello. I wonder why the little fairies look so different from the big fairies, the great fairies. Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. You can carry more arrows, woohoo. Uh -huh, the fairies in the pouch should use my weariness. Thank you. Goodbye. You know, really, she didn't do anything magical for me. She just gave me a bigger bag. I'm not, I'm not complaining. It just seems kind of mundane, doesn't it? Oh, it turned away. It's shy. It's shy. Like, no, don't perceive me. Am I just causing weird enemy behaviors tonight? Okay, it had to back up a little before it got its courage back. Ugh. I'm trying to cruise closer, but it keeps... Like, I'm holding down the button to cruise, and it's just sending me in the wrong direction. Oh, I guess because I have the cannon out. Oh, that's not what I want. That works. Actually, why am I even bothering to fight this thing? I don't need to fight this thing. Uh, let's go north of here. I should probably call it an evening fairly soon. But I've got... Let me look at my map. There is another Triforce piece. Oh, it looks like there's actually a chart south of me. Did I not get that? Or I did get it. Um, there's another Triforce piece up the very northern part of the map. So I can work my way up there feeding the fishies. And then call it an evening either there or a little before there, depending. Okay, let's see. Fish. Where's the fish? Fish. Flunk. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful not to stress my wrists. They were pretty wonky earlier today. Well, at least in a few weeks, I'm I'm getting an electro... Oh, I forget the name of the treatment. Essentially, they're examining the nerves in my wrist, so... We'll figure out what to do from there. I wouldn't sail through these seas on nights where the left half of the moon is missing. You'll regret it if you do, Fry. I'm warning you. It's not my fault if you get so scared that you can't go to the bathroom at night anymore. I mean, that sounds like a personal problem, Mr. Fish. I thought the ghost ship would be more involved, like in Phantom Hourglass. So many birds here. I guess if I wanted to get the 20 feathers, but eh. I'm not gonna worry about this island. If you can really call it an island. I guess it's not really an island, it's an archipelago. Archipelago? Yet another word. I don't know if I've heard it said out loud, at least not in a long time. If you saw a ghost, it wouldn't be needing to go to the bathroom anymore, I guess. It does sound like a dare, doesn't it? What is this island? the nice thing about play not playing this game in such a long time that I remember so little. Eagle fish. What you got? Flight control platform. That sounds like a mini game. To the west of here, over on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks. Big ones, little ones, some as big as your head. You get the picture. <clears throat> Sorry. 
Anyway, they say that long ago, there used to be treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows? There may still be some left, so you should open your eyes and take a good look around. From as high up as the sun to as low down as your toes. Well, I did get that chest where you fly a seagull up to hit a switch on the side of Dragon Roost. I don't remember what would be low down below, though. Pretty sure this is some kind of mini game. Might need my leaf for it, I'm not sure. Is it a good mini game? I don't remember. But it's got one of those ho ho guys. Birdman contest sign encounter. If you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the sky to win fame and prizes. Is this not biased towards actual birdmen? Like that one? Oh, oh, all the way out there. I see, I see. Quite so. Uh-huh. Greetings, O oh person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman contest. And now, listen. You are free to use any means, methods, or tools that you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you could fly before you crash into the roiling seas like so much dead weight driftwood. A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion, who has flown the farthest to date, crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you are able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion. And you will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. The participation fee is a mere ten rupees. Well, will you take the challenge? I will. Okay, then up the ladder you go. My brother awaits you up top. Uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So, you do have something that you can use to fly, right? I sure hope so. Here's wishing that the wind is beneath your, uh, thing, whatever it is. Out of all the Rito that we've encountered, encountered, that one looks the most like just a guy with like a fake beak plaster to his nose. And this one is just Waluigi. Oh, a challenger. The contest is afoot. You see that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by a great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. It's not a joke. According to their Nintendo Gallery figure reads, these guys aren't actually Rito? So what, they're just wearing, like, little bird leg boots? And, like, fake cloaks and fake beaks? I guess he does have a mustache. I mean... Can Rito grow mustaches? Well, okay, first things first. Better do this before I embarrass myself utterly. Waluigi graces us with his presence. Thank you, oh great and powerful Waluigi. Should I have, like, stopped over that, that whirlwind more? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. This is, this is not look good for Homestar Runner. Oh. Ugh. Child down. Child down. Splash! Flight distance was 87 yards. Yes, a whopping 87 yards. 87 yards? I suppose that's about average. By which I mean, not even remotely in the League of the Great and Talented. Say, have you ever thought of flying into any of the updrafts you see out there? They can really boost your distance. <sighs> I guess I have to pay more money to get him to move. All hail, young fledgling, get up there. May you return as feathered and winged as a bird of the skies. 
Yeah, the goggles with the mustache is more Dick Dastardly, but we all know that Dick Dastardly was just proto Waluigi. Uh, is this like as high as this one's gonna boost me? I guess so. I, well, I think I've dunked this one up. See the whirlpool or the whirlwind. Ooh, sploosh. Well, I was kind of hoping the first one would uh, bolster me higher, but it, it, it didn't really. <laughs> I tied with myself. Wow. Very nice that they bring you back instead of making you do like the 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 swim of shame. So if you have their figurines, what are their names? They must have names. Yeah, you lose a lot of speed when you turn. So if you kind of miss the uh, cycle when this one goes by, uh, then you're in trouble. No! Why is it always the same spot? You want to say Wilbur and Orville, but that must be wrong. It's so obvious. That sounds right, though. Uh, pun not intended. <laughs> uh. Yes, please. So how come they're so judgy about, you know, me looking like I don't have wings? They're not even Rito, they're just Rito fanboys. Obli and Willy, is that their name? Z. There we go. Finally. Oh no, I missed it. I thought it was it was going so perfect. It was going so perfect. E you know, it's easy if I oh no. <gasps> oh no, my magic. I was gonna say it's easier if I turn my camera. Oh a whopping two hundred and ten yards. Yeah, I definitely don't have time to wait around. I gotta just gun it. 210 yards? Really? Wow, that's some great flying. But not quite great and talented. I have no more advice to share with you. All that's left is to cast your luck to the wind and just fly. Fly, boy, fly. Actually, can you indulge me for a moment? Just give me a second. Let's see. Wow, yeah, this keyboard is really hard to type on. Here it is. Okay. Cool. Okay, please indulge me. There we go. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. And I ruined it. I ruined it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Let me try one more time. Uh. Uh. Remotely in the, le in the League of Great and Talented, I know. <laughs> Oh, 
this time. This time. Freaking this time. If I miss the cyclone, the only thing I can do is hope I can reach the next. Well. Oh no. Maybe. If it comes back in time. Nope. No. <laughs> it survived a bit longer. Ah. I'm gonna keep trying this until the song's over. That's that's my time limit. Until the song is over. So if we don't do it in three minutes, then uh, the world is destroyed. Whoa, oh, oh. You can actually hear the music, right? This isn't where I tried to play fireplace sounds when I was reading Winnie the Pooh, and I realized I uh, didn't un unmute my desktop sounds. I wish you could see the the cycle for the cyclones, because I keep going past them. There we go. Or not the cycle, the paths they take. There we go. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Does that count? Uh. Sploosh. Did I do it? I didn't do it. <laughs> well, I got time for one more attempt. I think. Get up, get up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Am I activating my leaf too soon? I also miss off the hook so much. Give me the goyles. time how come I didn't make it <laughs> same as it ever was same as it ever was same as it ever was oh man I know some can cause fallacy but I want to get this last try for Char before I call it a night so I have to be mindful of my wrists, but like, come on, come on. Off the Hook is the duo of Pearl and Marina from Splatoon 2. They're the hosts of the in-universe TV show that give you all these stage updates. They're also girlfriends. I mean, like, not strictly canonically, but we all know that they're girlfriends. They're very cute. Anyway, they have really good tunes, so. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like not explicitly girlfriends, but can very easily be read as girlfriends. The point is, they're very cute. And I appreciate Pearl's gremlin energy as someone who is also a short gremlin. I like that about her. I think Marina's my favorite, though. But they're both very cute. Overlook Island. 
Hey, small fry, do you know about the Golden Triumph Orcs? It's there, I tell you. On that island. A genuine article. But the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you wanted to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings for you to grab onto. So, what are you gonna do, small fry? Cry, obviously. Pray to Pearl and Marina for help. I assume I have to use a hookshot. Maybe? Why are there so many cannon guys? Go away. Okay. Can I get close enough? I have to sail a little closer. Maybe when the, the ocean brings me upwards. Nope. Can I get a little closer? Maybe there's another palm tree I can get to on dry land. Hmm. That one looks like the lowest, though. Yeah, when are we actually gonna get forks to eat all this cheese with? Well, I guess maybe we're making a charcuterie board. You don't need a fork for that. Maybe they're tuning forks! You know, to go with the Wind Waker. If there's another palm tree I can reach better here. Ugh. I'm not sure where the best spot to approach this from is. I can't reach down here. It's easier to maneuver around on foot than it is when I'm sitting in Uncle Boat. Here, maybe? Can I reach from here? Yes! There we go! Hopefully I don't get shot by one of those cannon ships. Oh, a chew. Oh, I can't get the, the goop with my hookshot. Just this, I guess. Ew. What do you spend money on in this game, aside from the Triforce charts and the auction house? I mean, I guess there's all of Beetle's stuff. Or, uh, definitely not Beetle in a Helmet Island. All of his stuff is really expensive. I guess I could buy it with the funds I have now. Whoop. I just pulled their heart out. They weren't using it. I mean, how can you tell? It's all blue goop. One of these rooms again? You know what? Hang on a second. Just let me have this. Let me have this. Oh, there's bomb flowers here. I guess that's handy in case you walk in here and you don't have any before you do that. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. See, they're all singing along, holding their mouths open. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. It's a good song! Splatoon has some pretty righteous music. I hope this isn't drowning out the game, by the way. <laughs> Fly Octo Fly does rule. I was hoping for magic, but okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I guess if you've never played Splatoon 2. Here's a taste of the great tunes. Hey, I streamed all the story mode if you want. Stalfos. <sighs> Missed. I guess they moved more than I thought they would. Not aim that well. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. 
Where you going? Where you going? Oh man, he's reforming. Oh, 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 oh. Can I beat this Stealthos before the song ends? Well, not with that level of skill on display. Come on. There we go. I guess I didn't do enough damage the first time I broke it. There we go. Speed up. Sound levels are perfect. Excellent. Boy, that's all the magic restores, huh? That's a little sad. Oh well. Not like I'm hurting for it. Oh yeah, the, the live uh, Splatoon concerts are really good. There we go. Thank you for indulging me. And now I fight Toucan Sam. Whoa. So many chews! Toucan Sam! I feel like when I'm looking right at something, so I press ZL, I'll target the thing I'm looking at. But it doesn't often happen, and it's very irritating. Stop that. Oh. oh. Stop, 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 stop. Real squids. Real octopuses. Octopi. Octopeople. But yeah, all the, the live Splatoon concerts are really good. They've done uh, a few with Callie and Marie from Splatoon 1, and then a few with Pearl and Marina um, from Splatoon 2. And then they've done one um, sort of like brief, like a short one with um, uh, Deep Cut. I hope they do more. I'm hoping maybe sometime in the, the upcoming future they'll, they'll announce another live concert with more deep cut. The deep cut one wasn't that short, but it was only like half an hour. Um, compared to like the other concerts, which I think are closer to an hour-ish, I think. Nasty Majesty is still a really good song. I also like the live version of Shark Bites like, way better than how it is in game. I didn't really like it in game, like it was fine. But the live version of it was better. I'm trying to resist the urge to play more Splatoon music while I like, fight all these guys. Because you know, I don't I don't want to disrespect the, the great sound design of Wind Waker. But it's the same sort of like combat music we've heard a lot. Yeah, the live versions of their songs have a lot of crunch that I like. Hang on a second. I've got some good background music for fighting these dark nuts. Hang on. I know exactly the song that we need. There we go. I'm gonna go bang bang on these guys' armor. Ow. They just hit each other. I would do, like, an acapella version of this. No fooling for fun. Bing, 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 
heard Splatoon music before, I strongly recommend looking at the soundtracks. They're wonderfully strange. Especially with their instrumentation. And not really like anything else I've heard. This fight's, fighting's been a little sloppy. Because I'm too busy focusing on the Splatoon music. I wish I had my, my VTuber model out so I could you could see me bobbing my head to this song. Bang bang bang. Bing 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 bang. I don't know if there's a reason to pick up those night crests at this point. Bang bang bang. Oops. I messed up. I was too busy singing. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm gonna stop that now. I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> Treasure chest has appeared. No more bing bang bing. Yes, thank you to the generous soul who has shared the Splatoon CDs. Nice and crisp and clear, perfect background music for me to eat this cheese wedge. I'm building the ultimate charcuterie board. I totally forgot you could sell that stuff to Beetle. Completely forgot. I think because, like, you have so much money already. You know, I actually didn't do very much of the rhythm game in 2. I know a lot of people have been clamoring for them to bring it back, but I'm just... Eh. I love rhythm games, but I guess I just felt like it didn't give enough feedback to really interest me. Um, okay. I should actually call it an evening now. It's quite late, and I need to rest my hands. But thank you very much for joining me for a chill and slightly distracted stream. But it's really fun to hang out, and it's a good cap on a stressful week. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I thought that cannonball was going to hit me. Um... I'm still not sure what I'm going to stream on Tuesday. I have to think about that. Is that one going to hit me? No. Come on. Get good. See if you can hit me before I'm done talking. Um, oh. No, this guy sucks. Um, yeah, I need to think about what I'm going to stream on Tuesday. You know, a weird thing that occurred to me is I read a while ago that Nintendo just recently reinstated the servers for Splatoon 1. Um, and I've streamed both Splatoon 2 and 3, but I have not streamed Splatoon 1. That could be a fun thing to do, is just stream, uh, the original Splatoon's story mode, because I think it still holds up. The part of the Triforce hunt I have left, oh goody. You know, before I call it an evening, I'm just gonna make sure my Triforce charts are opened. Um, oh, I have to get them interpreted. Ugh... Well, I have one, but it needs to be interpreted, so... Someone remind me at the start of... Actually, you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm just going to say at the start of the next stream... Nope, oh, that's not what I want. Remind me to go to Tingle, but I'm just going to go to Tingle right now. And then save and quit. Oh, right. Just kidding. I need Uncle Boat. I guess I can't just ditch Uncle Boat. Just thoughtlessly have Cyclos carry me away from up there. And then when he dumps me off at Tingle Island, she's gonna be like, By the way, what happened to your boat? And Link's gonna be like... Mmm... Oh yeah... Uncle Boat... Oh yeah, I'm sure Splatoon 1 multiplayer is full of hackers. I remember sort of near the end of... Before Splatoon 2 came out... I started to run into hackers everywhere in Splatoon 1, and it was... It was kind of funny, like, the first time, but it just got really annoying really fast. Like, I'd run into more than one hacker that would just have infinite ink strikes that would immediately paint the entire stage their color. Like, from the get-go. And it's like, what's the point? Like, I don't even know what you're... Well, what you're trying to accomplish. The sun is rising over Tingle. What does it mean? Don't contemplate that too hard. Anyway, 
thank you all everyone for joining me for more Wind Waker. I guess we'll see what I'm doing on, on Tuesday. Maybe the original Splatoon. Um, but yeah, stay safe. Take care. Have a lovely weekend. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.